members of the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God have gathered here for Sunday morning service. This parish is one of the church's smaller congregations here in Maputo, Mozambique's capital city. But the Pentecostal church is well established throughout the country. Most of the church's pastors in Africa receive their training in Brazil. The pastor allows our crew to film the service, but not the sermon. The church's symbol is a peace staff set inside a red heart. Members of the congregation tell us why their church is so popular. What I appreciate most is the way the sermon is delivered. I can understand everything. I grew up in the Anglican Church. Then I experienced some serious problems in my life and someone invited me to come here. I started praying in this church and I was able to fix almost all of my problems. And how much do you give to the church? It's quite simple. For instance, if you have 1,000 metakais, you take 100 of them and put them in a church envelope and lay it on the altar. You always give a tenth of what you have. And the church preaches that God will repay his followers with double and triple what they've given. A bulletin in its newspaper announces Monday services aimed at helping members achieve financial success. Edia Macedo is the founder and leader of the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. He also owns publishing houses, properties and a media company. His flagship is the Record TV channel, with a subsidiary here in Mozambique. Back in Brazil, church officials are under investigation for allegations of money laundering and embezzlement of the equivalent of more than one and a half billion euros. But that's not big news here in Maputo. The church is busy building a new temple, big enough for 4,000 worshippers. The country's head of religious affairs says the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God is now larger than the Catholic Church in Mozambique, but he says they've also done a lot of good. The Universal Church has been successful in that they don't just talk about cultural values, they use them. And they target people who've lost their way and have problems. It's a very clear and smart strategy. They focus on each individual. The Record TV channel is another part of the concept. The channel broadcasts local news and entertainment. And Brazilian telenovelas air before the evening church programming. In one feature called God Changed My Life, people talk about their journey from hardship to enlightenment. The channel also continually encourages viewers to attend church ceremonies. This one is promoting a Friday service that promises to deliver energizing prayers and the Holy Spirit and to help followers cast out evil. This ritual is meant to banish dark forces. Worshippers hold up articles of clothing belonging to relatives in trouble in a kind of spiritual intervention. At a construction site hundreds of kilometers from the capital, we meet a businesswoman who turned her back on the church 12 years ago. Most people who leave the congregation are unwilling to talk, but Christina agrees to an anonymous interview. They asked me to make an offering of $3,000. At the time, I had no money. They said, just do it, you'll manage. 
Their sermons always refer to the biblical example of the widow whose children were supposed to be taken away from her. She didn't have any holy oil, and God's voice spoke to her and told her to borrow jars and fill them with holy oil. Borrow them? Anyone who understands the language knows what that means. Borrowing means going into debt. She claims church pastors are under pressure to collect as much money as possible from their congregations. Our team spent several weeks at headquarters in Maputo, hoping to arrange an interview with church leaders, all of whom are Brazilian. Despite letters, phone calls and personal appeals with a hidden camera, we were told the bishop in charge is too busy. Meanwhile, the church is seeking to expand its role in the country's education system by building new schools and hiring more teachers. Government and church officials are working together, but the cooperation isn't without problems. I doubt we here in the government are prepared to inspect all the locations where the churches, especially the universal church, are involved. The church is stepping into the gap where Mozambique's government is absent, and its membership is growing by leaps and bounds. Some 10,000 people were reportedly converted in just one day during a mass baptism in August.